Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to add trust badges on Shopify. Adding trust badges to your Shopify store will definitely increase your credibility in the customer's eye and also will help to increase the conversion on your store. Now to add trust badges to your Shopify store, all you want to do is go on the admin page. Once on the admin page, you are going to tap on apps in the bottom left hand corner. After tapping on apps, I want you to scroll down and you're going to tap on recommended apps. Once in recommended apps, you're going to scroll down and tap on Shopify App Store. And from here, you'll be redirected to the, app the Shopify App Store. And in the search bar, you're going to type in Trust Badges. After typing in Trust Badges, the Trust Badge app that I want you to use is Avada. The reason why I recommend Avada is because it is highly rated as you can see, it gets a 5 star ratings and also the reviews are very good and it has been used by numerous shop owners before. So all you'll need to do is simply download the app. Once you have downloaded and installed the app, you will be redirected to this page which is the Avada dashboard. And another reason why I recommend Avada app is not only will you be able to add trust badges, but you can also add countdown timer using this app. Also, if you would like to add sales pop, you can. And also you can add a free shipping bar and you can also use it to add announcement bar in active tab. Also a sticky add to cart and you can also do add to cart animation. And you can also use it for stock countdown or live chat. So this is definitely a one-stop app that you definitely need on your Shopify store. So for this example, we'll be creating trust badges. So you're going to tap on go to settings right below trust badges. After you have done that, you're going to tap on add new in the top right hand corner. And from here, you can see an example of how the trust badge looks at the moment. And right where you see choose present, you can choose the trust badge style that you want. So all you have to do is tap on the style that you want. For example, this one right here. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down. And by the way, if you would like to remove any one of the trust badge icons, you can by simply hovering over it and tapping on the X. Then we are going to scroll down and you can change the message right here. If you would like to change the header text, you can. If you would like to change the size of the trust badges, you can also by tapping right below size as you see right here. And you can also scroll down and change the alignment. And just in case you don't see the payment option that you want, all you have to do is tap on choose badges. After tapping on choose badges, from here you will see all of the payment options available online as you can see right here. So all you have to do is go through this list. Let's say for example I want to add Stripe. I'll tap on Stripe and let's say we also accept Amazon Pay. You can tap on Amazon Pay and you can see there are numerous payment options you can choose from. All you have to do is tap on the payment option that you would like to add. Once you are finished, you are going to tap on load badges. Let me go back, tap on the X right there. Then go back into trust badges. So first we are going to tap on add new in the top right hand corner. After tapping on add new right below where you see choose present, you can see the different trust badge styles. So all you have to do is scroll down and select the one that you like. For example, this one right here. And also if you would like to remove or add a badge, all you have to do is hover over the particular icon that you'd like to remove, then tap on the X and then scroll down a bit and you will see the option choose badges you can tap on that let's say we'll also like to add stripe we could add stripe and we can also add amazon pay 
and another thing that i really like is there are numerous payment options that you can see right here are trust badges that you can add as you can see there are numerous ones you can choose from once you have chosen the ones that you like you are going to tap on the x in the top right hand corner to close out and after closing out from here you are going to simply select the size so you can change the size if you want and also right where you see header text if you would like to change the header text you can also do that and by scrolling down further you can see that we can also adjust the alignment of the trust badges and the next thing we can also do we can add, do further adjustment for example font size or so on by tapping on advanced settings so let's say you would like to increase the font size you can do that also if you would like to change the text color you can do that by tapping on the text box right there and you can also change the font style as you can see right here and after you're finished and it is to your liking if you would like to add a link to each one of the trust badges you can do that for example you could tap on link for each badge then you will see the options right here so you could add your paypal link your apple pay link and all of these options as you can see and if you would like to add a link for all badges just adding one general link you can tap on link for all badges and you can add it right there and also you can see the option to change the badge style if you want so if you don't want it to be colored you could tap on the black and white option and you can scroll down and from there if you want to change the badge box width you can do that also if you want to add a custom width you can do that and if you want to add some form of animation you can do that so let's say you want a fly animation or a slide in or if you want it to pop you can tap on pop right there but i don't want any animation so i'll tap on none and if you want to change the size on mobile you can do that so if you want it to be small on mobile you could tap on small as you can see right there so it will be large on the desktop and small on mobile once you are finished and all of the changes is to your liking you are going to tap on save in the bottom right hand corner or in the top right hand corner once you have copied the code and you have tapped on save I want you to go back and once you have gone back you are going to be led back to this page and you want to ensure that the status is toggled on as you can see right here and by the way to just make sure you are going to tap on dashboard after tapping on dashboard you are going to toggle on the settings right here so you are going to turn this on as by doing this it, the, ad, the app better yet will be added to your Shopify store so after toggling on this what we are going to do is go over to the left hand corner and right where you see online store you are going to tap right there then this will redirect you to your themes page and we are going to tap on customize in the bottom right hand corner after tapping on customize right where you see search online store or home page at the top of my page right here you are going to tap right there and you are going to select products then you are going to select default product after selecting default product we will be led to a product page and keep in mind that once we have pasted or better yet added the trust badge to this page it will automatically be added to all product pages so all you will need to do is go over to the left hand menu option tap right where you see add block then you are going to scroll down until you see apps and you are going to see trust badges you are going to tap on that then i want you to tap on trust badges again and right where you see widget id you are going to simply paste the id that you had copied earlier as you can see right there and after you have pasted it if we were to go back you can now move the badge as you can see the badge is now added as you can see right there but you can simply drag it so all you have to do is tap on the six dots and let's say we want to add it right below the buy button as you can see right now 
it is added right below the buy button as you can see here so if i were to go back onto the product page it is right below the buy now button as you can see right there so all you have to do now is tap on save in the top right hand corner and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as you can see right here and thanks for watching and if i were to go onto another product page just for example sake let's say i go onto this product page you can see that it is also on this product page as i said earlier once you have added it to one product page it applies to all product pages